Hello everybody, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this beautiful fancy wedding of Princess Aurora and Prince Philip. So as most of you know, this is the new limited edition doll set released for Sleeping Beauty's 60th anniversary. Uh, the movie was originally released in 1959 and as most of you know, they released some merchandise, pins and stuff like that. They also released the Briar Wars doll, which I did a review of last week. And if you haven't seen that, I'll put the link on the bottom and on the top of this video. So these sets are usually called platinum sets. And it hasn't been called that for a minute because even on the website, it says, and I'll read to you, the Disney store proudly presents our Sleeping Beauty 60th anniversary limited edition doll set. Finally crafted, Princess Aurora and Prince Philip are envisioned for the first time in storybook wedding finery for a collector's dream come true. So I think they're just going to call these sets from now on limited edition doll sets and that's not important i just wanted to mention that anyways there is a lot to go over so let's just get started with this review so first up of course we have the box and you have to excuse me but the box is so big that i have to come out of frame from my little recording uh cheap studio <laughs> that i have going on here so i apologize for that but at least you can see all the details of the box Right on the top, we have the window that says Sleeping Beauty, and you can take a peek at the dolls right there. And it's really beautiful. It's kind of like a window display. It has rose gold um, color all around it. It has like this really beautiful frost frosted window panes, and it's just beautiful. I mean, this box set is probably the prettiest box that we've seen uh, for any of these platinum dolls that we've gotten so far. It's just beautiful. And weirdly enough, it says the Aurora and Prince Philip. She's not Aurora. She is the Aurora, the only one. So I kind of like that in a weird way. Limited edition, one of 650. So only 650 doll sets of these are made, which again, is a pretty small number. It is a little higher than some of the other uh, platinum or limited edition doll sets we've gotten, but it's still a pretty low number. When you first open it, you have the display window right there and they're just beautiful. As you can see, it's like frosted. You really can't see through it. And I like that. Because that way you don't see the doll like right away through those like uh, windows, you know, you have to actually open it. So I do love that. It's a nice detail, a nice touch. When you open it, of course, you can see them right there. And you can see my phone while I'm recording on the glass. Again, sorry, I don't have the um, studio or whatever you want to call it to record such a big doll set, but it works again on the inside. It says the Aurora and Prince Philip on the side. It has this beautiful window and I'm going to show you that right now. It's called like window panes and it's just beautiful. As you can see right there, there's a crease, but it's not broken. That's just because that's where it bends and you can see that right there. Going down, we have the same rose gold and frosted window, which is super cool. It legit looks like a castle. Or like a church maybe you know so it, it goes very in theme with the whole wedding concept of this set of course on the back of the box we have sleeping beauty the sleeping beauty and prince philip so it doesn't say the aurora it's just the sleeping beauty <laughs> collector doll set now we have a, a description here some words about the doll in english and also in french you can go ahead and pause if you like to read that then right on the bottom, it says that it includes the certificate of authenticity and a display stand for each doll, of course. Some of these doll sets in the past have included two certificates, one for each, but this one just has one. Of course, the price is $750, which is huge. And I literally had to save up to get this set. Uh, it's insane. And here's their certificate. I have a pretty low number. I was very happy about that. It's number 23 out of 650. On the back is in French, and you can see that right there. All right, so let's take a closer look at the dolls out of the box. And I didn't talk, but you saw how I took the case off. So it's pretty simple to open. I love them. They're so beautiful. Aurora is just, oh my goodness, she's gorgeous. I didn't even want this set. And the more I saw pictures, I just had to have it. And it's mainly because of her. I think everyone that's getting the set is because of her. It's just gorgeous. He's cute too, of course. The first thing that I want to take a closer look at is Aurora's beautiful face. I am so in love with this face. I think, you know, they used the same face sculpt from the previous Aurora dolls that we've had, but they made her eyes so bright and purple. It's just gorgeous. Like this is exactly how I like my Aurora's eyes to be. 
And then she has this gold, beautiful eyeliner and such a subtle makeup. But the eyebrows are also stunning. Like they have little lines, like actual real eyebrows. Her lips, she has more blush than the Briar Rose doll that I reviewed recently that came out, you know, with this set. This just did such a beautiful job of using the same face sculpt and yet changing them up enough that it's so worth it to have both dolls. You know what I mean? I think she's gorgeous. The rooted eyelashes, of course, are always there. It's just stunning. And as you can see right here next to Briar Rose, the makeup is completely different. Of course, they both have purple eyes, which, as I said in my Briar Rose review, this is the brightest eyes that we've ever seen Aurora have in a limited edition doll. The other ones have been kind of dull and dark. And this is just stunning, stunning. When it comes to her crown, this is another reason why I wanted this doll set. Her crown is stunning, legit. It's like real material. This is real metal. Um, I don't think it's gold or anything like that, but it's metal and it has the little um, like rhinestones on it. It's just beautiful. It's attached on the head. I know that some sets arrived and they didn't arrive in a good condition. I was so lucky to get her. I literally almost shed a tear when I saw that she was, she was in good condition. On the actual web website, website description, excuse me, says jam encrusted crown and necklace. As you can see, the necklace is also gorgeous and it matches the crown, of course, with the three uh, gems right there. Beautiful. It adds such a pop to the entire set. And I love when Disney Store uses actual materials and not plastic. So I love this. Now I want to show you Aurora's hair because I think it looks so pretty the way that they styled it. She has these little braids on the side. Um, I think they're like cascade braids or something like that. I don't know what they're called, but I love them. And I love the little curl on the side. It did such a good job. I love the way that the hair is displayed in the box. It's just beautiful. I prefer this hair rather than the tin tinsel hair, like the first limited edition dolls for her. It's just better in my opinion. Now she also has a mesh veil with floral lace detailing. And you can see it right there. Of course, I read that right off the website because, you know, I don't know materials and fabrics like that, but it's just beautiful. I love the lace. It's so pretty. And I want to take this doll out of the box just to display that, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that, but you can see here in this picture from the website um, how the veil looks. It's just so beautiful, so detailed, so long. It's just perfect. They did a beautiful job with the veil. And now we're on to Aurora's beautiful bridal gown. Of course, it's all pale rose gold and she has a satin bodice. She has a beautiful flower right there in the center. And then you can see that the sleeves or the collar, I guess you can call it, um, you can put them a little higher or a little lower. I like it higher so that it kind of covers the um, that cut right there. You see, I just like that to be covered. And I think that's the intention in the stock photos. That's, at least it looks this way. And it's beautiful. It's all satin. She has this, um, it's, it's like attached to the skirt, but it's obviously two different pieces, the bodice and the skirt. I love the sleeves. It's a see-through color that matches the skirt as well. Of course, she's wearing her wedding ring. Here you can see it. It has rubber bands, you know, to keep their hands together. But of course, she's wearing the wedding ring. And so is Philip, and you'll see that a little bit later. But it's just gorgeous. The bottom part of the dress, the skirt, is stunning. It's, um, I forgot what it's called. It's like organza, the material. Yeah, it's called organza. Um, and it's a huge overskirt with metallic floral uh, sparkling rhinestones and embroidery and it's beautiful on the bottom you can see right there that it's broken yeah it's like a weird material the bottom part of the dress it's really thick um, so I'm sure that this doll out of the box oh my god like I want to take her out so bad but at the same time I think part of the magic is uh, the way it's displayed in the box and the way that everything looks in the box that's why I don't take it out you know I take a lot of dolls out of the box but some of the pricier ones or the ones that have a really elaborate display, I like to keep them. Anyways, I talk so much, but there you can see kind of like a close up of all the embroidery work and all the rhinestones. There's, you know, scattered um, rhinestones all the way through the back of the dress and in the front. And it's just beautiful. And at first you look at this doll and you think it's simple, but it's really not. There's a lot of detail in it and it's she's totally worth it, in my opinion. Now, on the bottom part of the dress, you can see this beautiful uh, ribbon. It's so pretty. Again, I would love to take this doll out of the box. Now, from the side without breaking anything, uh, let me just show you how this dress is. It has like a rubber, not like a rubber band, but it has like a kind of like a stretchy end to it. 
it's really interesting and i'm not able to show you the shoes unfortunately but if you saw my briar rose review it's pretty much the same shoes without the ribbon and they're of course in the rose gold color and now last but not least we have prince philip and he does have such a cute face again his um his eyebrows are painted very nicely his eyes are so bright and pretty he's just you know people are not fans of the boy dolls i personally like them um i think he looks cool he has rooted hair of course and the only issue that i have you know it's that of course there's gel on the hair and unless you take the doll out of the box it's kind of hard to like play with it while it's in there but as you can see on this side the hair is perfect i love the way it falls it's just beautiful now on the other side i have an issue because the hair is like sticking out as you can see you know when i put my finger down on it i'm gonna try some hairspray i already tried a little bit and it didn't really work but i'm gonna try some hairspray maybe stick a needle through it i don't know but i need that hair to stick to his head and i'll try that later i just don't have time now but overall that it doesn't bother me that much i think he's still beautiful very handsome so it's okay philip's outfit is really cool too of course it's very fancy he has his red cape which I love because it's really, really nice. It's a flowing velvet cape with satin lining on the inside. As you can see, it's a satin material and it's a, it's loose here in, in the on the side, which is cool because everything is usually very strapped down, but it looks great. And the velvet color on it, the, the dark red, it's just beautiful. He's wearing a silver simulated leather groom's tunic tunic with golden piping and face faceted gem studs. Of course, I'm reading that right off the website, <laughs> but as you can see here, his outfit is silver. It's really nice. He's ha he has this really dramatic puffed sleeves with red satin insets and embroidery cuffs. And I'll show you that in a second. I was just reading off the website. <laughs> as you can see on the bottom, he kind of has like a fake illusion of a shirt because he's wearing just a regular um, beige color shirt under it. Really, really nice, right? I, I think it's such a nice touch that you can kind of see it. There you can see that um, the little cuffs and the sleeves, the embroidery on it. I love the puffed uh, puffed sleeves. It's so dramatic. It's so cool. I just I love it. Of course, that's red. It's a darker, um, darker red than the red that he has in the cape, which is a nice touch. There's about four or five of these um, puffed sleeves. Now, the actual cuffs in, in the hands, it's really cool. It's embroidery work as well. And you can see it there. And his actual, um, you can see the stand holding him. The belt is really nice. I love this heart shape with the crown in the middle. It's super cool. It's actual metal and you can actually move it around. And when I first got him, it was all the way to the side. So I just moved it right, you know, to the middle. Really nice. It's secured in there. So not to worry. Now this hand is the regular hand that we see for all the male dolls. And it's just, you know, the regular holding hand. We've, we've seen it all the time. But, and you see, it's just kind of like a hold hand. Now, as far as the other hand goes, the hand that has the ring, it's a new hand. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe this is a new hand. It's just kind of like, you know, more relaxed. It's really my first set. Well, I have the Snow White and Prince one, but I don't remember the hand being like this. Now he's wearing, it's, I think it's supposed to be like um, fitted ties fitted tights tights yeah it looks like pants but you know doesn't matter it's the same <laughs> well no, it's not the same but you know what i mean so yeah those are the pants and then now we have the boots which are really cool when i first saw them i thought oh my god is this like fake leather but it's not it's plastic it's just painted so realistically and it's molded so well that i thought they were like actual material of course in the back you can see um that it's cut down the middle because that's how you're supposed to take them out really really cool shoes philip Alrighty, my friends. Well, that is all for today. I am tired of talking. And if you've made it this far, I'm sure you are tired of listening. Uh, this is one of the longest reviews ever, but I wanted to make sure that I've captured every single detail of this set because when I do a review is when I really fall in love with the dolls. I feel like if I haven't done a review, I haven't looked at the doll. You know what I mean? So when I do the review, that's when I finally sit and have time to watch it. And then I do the voiceover and I get to see it again. 
So this is my moment of appreciating the doll. And I do that along with you guys. So that's why I do it. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for checking out my video. Uh, make sure that you're follow, following me on Instagram where I try my best to keep everyone updated with doll news and whatever else news. So make sure you follow me on that. Thank you. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Much love to you all. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.